Hey guys, what's going on? Um, I just wanted to bring you a quick video and kind of show you something that I'm working that I'm working on, and that I'm hoping we can kind of get a little uh community or work on it together. Um, because it's an open source uh, GitHub repo right now, so it's it's just a bootloader. Um, but I'm hoping to make it a really robust um and well abstracted bootloader that can be ported into um any other microcontroller vendors not just st so i'm hoping that you know um the main uh code of the bootloader will have a sort of port um files where you could just write some functions that the bootloader needs and then you should be able to use it with any microcontroller well that's the plan for now um this is the basic uh kind of bare bones of it at the moment um i'm not going to go through it at least not in this video this is just kind of showcasing it and then hopefully you guys can join the discord channel i have a specific channel dedicated uh for this um what i need help with mostly is the desktop application which i'm currently using visual studio um c sharp visual c sharp um but i'm not really a desktop application developer kind of person so this is like a hack job but um let me kind of just show it working so um this is a an application a separate application so i have a bootloader application and then i have a, a separate actual like user application um which could be anything right so i'm gonna just first show you the camera here as you can see this is the device and it's live that's my hand right there um so i'm going to actually how do I prove that this is live? Maybe kind of show the uh, the monitor. There it is. Hello, hello, hello. Okay, anyways, whatever. My point is that that is the microcontroller. Um, so what I'm going to do is kind of lower the blink rate. Let's say to 50, and then I'm gonna save. I'm gonna build this project, and I, you know, so there's the the binary. Um, there's the binary but i'm not gonna flash it um so as you can see this is still blinking slow but i'm not gonna flash it i'm gonna use the bootloader um here to flash it um if you look at the code it's actually loading that file somewhere again i'm not uh see so it's loading this file the uh that binary that we just uh built so now the app is running and uh, I'm going to go ahead and reset this because the microcontroller will first jump into the bootloader. And now it's waiting for this application to connect. And I'll connect. And then I will send the new firmware with the faster blink rate. That little pause you saw is uh, when the bootloader is erasing the current firmware. And there you go. Now it's blinking fast. Um, while it looks kind of simple, like it's just sending the data, it's really not. Um, this thing will send a block. The microcontroller kind of verifies it. Okay, no, at the moment it doesn't verify, but that's the ultimate plan. It should verify every block of data that it's it receives uh, a checksum. Okay, and then it tells this thing. It replies with like an ACK. And then this thing sends the next block because this the computer can't just send all the firmware at once because this thing won't be able to keep up. So it, there's a lot of back and forth uh, talking. It just happens so fast, obviously, that we don't see it. But and there's a lot of error checking going on. So my, my plan for this is really to just have a robust uh, bootloader um, that I can use in any other microcontroller, not just ST. Um, but yeah, guys, so this is really just an open invitation. If you guys want to, um, again, help me out with this, help me finish it. Um, if any of you guys are good with like um, desktop applications, um, help me with that too, because what I have right now is this interesting looking thing and it's in C sharp. I would love to do it in Python because then you could also use it from any computer. Um, and there's going to be just a lot of uh, security features and stuff that I want to implement into the, the application and the bootloader to really make it robust and reliable. Um, I have an entire write-up on this. Uh, let me see if I can 
of at least of my ideas of what it is i want this thing to ultimately uh be like this is really just like um a sort of brain dump um as you can see everything works on a frame packet so we're not just sending data we're sending like an entire frame and within that frame is the actual payload the firmware and it's only 16 bytes at a time because the microcontroller can only write 128 bits but that's this specific microcontroller that I'm using. Again, if this will be configurable, uh, depending on what microcontroller you have. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of stuff going on. Um, so if you guys want to help out and contribute, um, join the Discord channel. Um, I'll leave, leave a link uh, below and we can talk about it. Um, so yeah, that's it guys. Oh yeah, and of course, I do plan on making a tutorial on it also. So yeah.